For practice of exercise 5.18, which is digit sum, we want to write a method named digit sum, and it's going to accept an integer as a parameter and return the sum of the digits of that number. So for example, we have this right here. It's going to add all these together and then return it. And then we also have to do this for negative numbers, but omit the negative part here. So the first thing that we should do is make a public static. It can be static. I don't think it specifies it here, but we'll make it static. It returns a type integer and it's called digit sum. And then inside of here, we have parameters of integers. So we have int integer. And now we are going to be inside of here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, I'm sure there's many ways to do this, but the way I'm doing it is that we have this integer right here and it's going to be passed in like this long string. So we can treat it like a string. We'll do string and we'll call this number and we're going to set it equal to the integer dot and we want this to be a string so we're going to convert it so integer dot to string and then we have our integer right here and then we're going to end this line so this is our integer it's stored as a string now we want to have something to return so we're going to do int sum and that's going to hold the sum of everything that we calculate now we're just going to set it equal to zero for now until we add everything into it. So we want to continuously add everything, all these numbers. We want to look at all these numbers. So the easiest way to do this would be in a for loop. We'll do in a is equal to zero. That's where we're starting it. And we're going to run this the entire length. So we're going to run this as long as a is less than our number dot. And then we want to get the length of it. So we'll just call the length method from the string class that has to do with this. We'll end this, and we'll just do A++ so that we can go through this. We are going to use A inside of here to look at the specific character in our string. So we can look at 2, 9, 1, 0, 7, all of the different indexes of our string. So inside of here, we want to make something that will store our temporary character. So it's going to be of type character. We're going to do character, and we'll call it temp, and we're going to set it equal to, we want the character at the specific character the index that we're looking at so the specific index is going to be determined by your a remember it increments every single time so we're going to do number dot char at to get the specific character at this index and then we store in temp to in temp so we have our number right and then this for loop is going to go through every index of it and then we are going to get the character at each part and we're going to store it in our temp now this is a character right so there's two things we want to do. We want to first check if it's a negative, and if so, we want to skip over this. So this is checking for negative. We'll make an if statement here. We'll do if a is equal to zero. So if only the first one is zero, we're not gonna do any other error checking here. If a is equal to zero and our temp is equal to, and this is a character, so we'll use single quotes, and then inside of here we'll have the negative sign, then we are just going to want to skip everything. So that's going to be your if statement. We're going to go back into our for loop. So if this is not the case, we'll be in an else statement. And if this is not the case, we want to add into our sum. So we're going to do sum plus equals. So we are continuously adding into our sum. And then we are going to want to get the integer from our character. And we're simply going to do an integer dot parse int. There's more videos on this somewhere in the channel if you're confused on that but we have this parse int right here it's going to take the integer out of our current character or string so we have to actually make this character a string because this integer dot parse int only works with the string not a character so we're going to do temp dot to string to convert it to a string we can close this in that's going to be it for our else statement we can close our for loop and then we just want to lastly return this so we're going to return the sum and then we can end this method. So that's going to be our function. If we submit it, we pass 11 out of 11 tests. And that's how you go about looking at practice exercise 5.18, which is our digit sum.